Credit Karma has been lying to you. This is gonna be one of the most important videos that you're ever gonna watch about your credit score. Millions of Americans have been convinced that Credit Karma is their real credit score, and in fact, guess what? It's not! So on today's video, I wanted to get all the way back to the basics of your credit score because I believe that this is a huge growing problem still in America that Americans truly don't know where to find their real credit score. What's a credit score supposed to look like? What are lenders looking for? And what is the true credit score that you should be looking at every time that you apply for a credit card, a mortgage, or a home loan, whatever you're applying for, you should always feel confident in knowing exactly what your true credit score that lenders are looking at is. This is a huge problem that I believe has never been addressed by anybody on social media. Everybody's too busy talking about credit cards and how to get car loans and how to run the play on this bank, but they're not focused on the basics of your credit score. And so you go apply for something, then you get denied and you're like, but why? But Credit Karma says, this why what am I looking at it's very confusing so I want to make sure that we lay the groundwork properly and by the time you finish watching this video you're gonna have a full understanding of every credit score and what they mean for every different type of industry I fully believe that you should never use credit karma and you should delete the app from your phone because it's the biggest scam in American history and it's very misleading the reason why they actually are marketing to you because you're a subprime borrower their main goal is to sell you a credit card, a bad loan for an auto loan, a personal loan with a high interest rate because this company, Credit Karma, is making millions of dollars every year from marketing products to you. They don't make money from giving you your free credit score. Oh, you don't believe me? Credit Karma made over $1 billion since 2019. And where do you think they made the money from? Every time that they say, hey, do you need better car insurance rates? Hey, you should check out this personal loan because uh, we see that you're carrying some debt and you can consolidate it with a high interest rate. They're making money by also selling your data to subprime borrowing companies. Those companies that magically send you an email saying, hey, we offer personal loans. Hey, we see that you need a credit card. And that's what winds up happening to your credit profile. You fill it with all of this junk and then you're like, how did I get all these bad credit cards? Have you never paid attention to the fact that they only offer you the worst credit cards possible? Even if you have great credit, Credit. credit Karma never says, hey, check out this American Express gold card. It's a really good fit for you. Or my favorite, why don't you check out this actual Citibank credit card because you seem to spend a lot of cash. No, they never offer you one of the best credit cards. Instead, they're gonna get you to the crappy credit cards because they make more money from those credit cards. And to make things worse, now Credit Karma's offering a credit builder card. Isn't that crazy? And they're also offering you a checking account. Now, what do you think that Credit Karma is gonna do with a checking account and a debit card or whatever the credit builder is, because it won't let me see it. Let's put it up on the screen right here so you can see it, that I don't qualify for it, but my credit, because my credit score is too high, but yet you're still gonna offer me crappy credit cards. That's just wild to me. It makes no absolute sense. But again, what do you think they're gonna do with that information? They're gonna have access to your bank account, to that debit card or credit card, and they're gonna sell that information to subprime lending companies that are gonna also reach out to you and market crappy credit cards crappy loans, insurance rates, everything they can so they can continue to make billions of dollars off of your information. Now, everyone's credit score is gonna vary from person to person. A great example, my wife's Credit Karma score is literally, I would say, maybe a few points off from her actual FICO score. But then you look at my credit score and my credit score is off over 100 points from each credit reporting agency compared to Credit Karma and my FICO score, which is absolutely crazy. It's very important to understand that more than 90% of lenders use some type of FICO scoring algorithm. And Credit Karma is a Vantage 3.0. It's gonna be far and few and in between banks that actually use a Vantage 3.0 credit score, making it literally useless. But of course, I get it. Everyone absolutely loves Credit Karma because, oh, well, it sends me a notification really quickly. And uh, I mean, it's not really that bad. It's off a little bit, but it gives me a general idea and it's free. 
I mean, listen, I get it. I love free too. Americans all love free, but at the end of the day, it's coming at a huge cost and it's not accurate. So you go apply for a credit card because you saw your credit karma score, denied. You apply for an auto loan because you saw your credit karma score, denied. And then the dealership laughs at you when you tell them, oh, but my credit karma said this. And they're laughing at you in the background like, yo, they don't really know, it's crazy. Go apply for a home loan and base it off your credit karma score. You're gonna be shocked and you're also gonna get denied. I wanna give a special shout out to all my beasters out there that are working hard to fix their credit using Dispute Beast, the most advanced AI credit repair software ever created. But specifically, I wanna give a shout out to Matthew. Matthew's credit score went up 285 points after one round with Dispute Beast. And Maurice, Maurice's credit score went up 237 points after one round with Dispute Beast also. But let's not forget Shakia. Shakia's credit score went up 215 points after just one round with Dispute Beast also. Now, Dispute Beast link is going to be in the video description and pinned at the top of the comments for anyone that needs to fix their credit. Last part's the most important. Now enough of me on this rant about credit karma. The real question here you have is, well, where do I find my true credit score, Mike? What credit score should I be looking for is the big question. But before I jump into all of the different credit scores you need to look at, understand very far and few and in between banks are also not giving you the correct credit score. As a great example, Navy Federal can give you a Vantage score and a FICO score, but understand that is not the credit score either because it's not an industry credit score. Now Discover Bank will give you a FICO score, which is great. Now Citibank will also give you a FICO score, which is great. Then you have American Express will also give you a FICO score. But guess what? It's not an industry specific FICO score. And that's what every single different lender is looking for, their specific industry. And then another one is Chase Bank. Chase Bank doesn't also give you a FICO score. They give you credit journey, which is absolutely trash because it's a Vantage 3.0, unfortunately. So Chase Bank, you gotta work on that. So what is an industry score? Every different industry, every lending industry has a different credit score model that they generally love to use. A lot of people say, well, how do I know what FICO score? This is exactly how you figure it out. You look at the industry. Now understand, you're gonna hear people on social media say, uh, well, somebody said that FICO 10T is coming in, like I gotta prepare for it. Understand, every industry must adapt that FICO scoring algorithm and lenders are gonna favoritize more the actual FICO score that actually gets the more approvals. So all this fear mongering about 10 T has been going on for four years now and still lenders have not adapted it because it doesn't get them enough approvals. If they're gonna get more denials, why would they use that credit score when it's gonna cause more denials and then the bank's not gonna make any money? No, they're gonna use what gets them all of these clients that are approved. Now let's start at the very top. You wanna get a credit card. You're going to look for a FICO bank card score A. That is the most commonly used credit score for credit cards. Now there are a few companies that will look at a FICO bank card score nine. And what we have seen historically, that's gonna be Navy Federal and possibly also Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs has been the one that's been using FICO nine more than anybody, but Navy Federal has also started using it more recently on their credit cards. And I'll put my little chart up here on the screen so you could screenshot it and save it to your phone so you can always have it and you'll always know exactly what credit score to look for. Now forgive my little chart here because it's old, it's been rolling with me for a long time but it's pretty basic and I keep it on my phone so that's why it's a little blurred. But pay attention to this chart. Most commonly, or sorry, most widely used version is a FICO score eight. But pay attention to this because as you can see, each one of them have a different word. FICO auto score eight, FICO bank car score eight, FICO score three, FICO score two, four, and five. All of them are different. So when you go apply for an, uh, an actual mortgage, you're gonna be shocked when your actual mortgage score is much lower than your FICO eight general score that you get for free on Credit Karma. So as another great example, you wanna apply for an auto loan. They're going to be looking at your FICO auto score eight. It's the most commonly used. I haven't seen any other actual auto lender use something different. It's always a FICO auto score eight. You wanna apply for an actual mortgage loan to buy a home. Home. It's the American dream. This is one of the biggest disappointments that people have when they look at their credit karma score, then they go apply for a home loan. It's gonna be a massive difference because they're looking at your FICO mortgage score two, four, and five, either all combined, depending on the lender. Always remember that every lender is different or they might all pull for just FICO score two. They might all pull for only FICO score four or FICO score five, but it's gonna be one of those three or all of them depending on the lender. And do not come into the comments and tell me, ah, oh, my 
but I get my free credit score from Experian. That's a FICO score. That is not an industry specific FICO score. Remember, an industry is a bank card, an auto loan, or a mortgage score. That is not an industry credit score that you see on Experian for free. That's another company that is scamming Americans. Experian, because guess what? You sign up, you give them your information, and then now they're selling your data. There's a reason why Experian makes more money than TransUnion and Equifax, because they're heavily marketing that free credit score, and then they're making you offers and selling you other items, insurance rates, credit cards, auto loans. They're doing all of that through the Experian app. And if you are using the credit boost through Experian Credit Boost, guess what? They're selling your information. Now you gave them access into your bank account. Guess who wants to see that information? All of the subprime borrowing companies, all the marketing companies, they can see where you're spending your money, what you're spending your money on, how much money is left in your bank account. They see all of it. And you gave it to them for free to get an artificially inflated credit score. Because doesn't it kind of strike you strange that they can boost your Experian credit score, but they can't boost your Equifax or TransUnion credit score? You don't find that strange? There's a reason why. Because it's artificial, it's not real. And now also Experian is offering some type of debit card and checking account. All of these companies are going to start moving into this marketing idea because guess what? They can pull all of that data directly into their systems and then sell it on the third party market. And that's how they make billions of dollars every year. This is what we call big data. And all of the credit reporting agencies are making millions and some of them billions every single year from selling your information for free because you gave it to them for free. Now, the final question is, where can I get all of my credit scores? Now, the number one place that people love to go to is my FICO. My FICO is the leader. It's where your actual credit score is created. FICO created your credit score and they have their own site to make money off of, of course. It's very, very rare if we ever see my FICO run any type of promotional period. They don't do any type of affiliate deals. They don't do any of that because guess what? You need your FICO score and you're gonna have to pay for it. Now I am in the state of North Carolina and if I were to purchase my FICO, I would pay $29.95 to get all of my scores. Pretty decent, but in some areas you'll see $39.99 or all the way up to $49.99. It's all about your geographical location on how they're gonna market this to you. So if you do decide you wanna use my FICO, always use an incognito mode or a private mode on your browser so you can get the best deal possible because they can't retarget you and then give you in a higher an actual higher price point. It's a little expensive. That's $30 a month. I don't care what anybody says. That's expensive for you to have to see your credit scores. That's ridiculous. And unfortunately, there's nothing that's cheaper until now. I found one other company that I have been working with for over, I would say four years because it's the cheapest way to get your credit scores. And remember, you don't need to be paying attention to your FICO scores 24 seven. So if you're gonna go apply for something, do something like a free trial or do it only for a month so you're not consistently wasting that money looking at your credit scores. You should have a general idea where your credit score is at. But the moment you're going to apply, go pull your credit scores. It doesn't hurt your credit score when you look at it on your own. It only, you only get a hard inquiry only when you apply for a credit, like a loan or an actual credit card or a mortgage. That can potentially drop your credit score depending on on what you're applying for, or if you get de denied or you get accepted. The most points you could ever lose when you apply for something is only a maximum of six points. So when you see Credit Karma and you apply for something, your credit score drops like 20 points, you're like, oh my God, what happened? Because it's not a FICO score and it doesn't matter. But remember, it's only a maximum of six points that you can lose every time you apply for something. But anytime you check your credit score, it does not affect you whatsoever. Now, my score IQ currently has a 14 day trial for one dollar if you would like to try it out you're gonna see all of your industry specific FICO scores they're gonna be underneath your personal information so you have to click on your credit reports and then go underneath your personal information and that's where you will see the actual industry specific FICO scores now after the trial it is $24.99 a month I worked out that deal to get you the best price possible because I'm be honest with you $30 a month is expensive and that's why I don't use my FICO because I'm not trying to pay them $30 a month when I can pay my score IQ $24 99 a month, it's way cheaper for the same exact thing. If you would love to use my score IQ to get your 14 day trial for $1, link is going to be in the video description and pinned at the very top of the comments for anyone that needs it. 
But for the love of God, can we please stop saying that it's okay to look at your credit karma score? It's a waste of time, energy, and it can cost you money because you have no idea where your credit score is at. And then you go apply for something and you wind up getting a higher interest rate on a car loan, a higher interest rate on a mortgage because you're like, well, I'm already here. Might as well go ahead and do it. That's the what the majority of people do. They'll go apply for something and say, well, I mean, this is it. Instead of actually knowing what your credit score is, working on it, coming back, and then guess what? Now you got a lower interest rate. I'll leave you with one last really good example of how this can be very expensive for you. If you go and apply for an actual auto loan or a mortgage and you're carrying balances on your credit cards and then of course you looked at your credit karma score and you were feeling confident, but then you're like, okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get this home loan. It could literally cost you thousands of dollars every year on your home loan when you could have literally just paid attention to your credit score on a FICO scoring algorithm. And if you're carrying credit card balances, pay off those credit card balances before you apply for the auto loan, for the home loan or the auto loan and then watch your credit score go up and in 30 days reapply and guess what you have a lower interest rate saving you thousands of dollars every year on your home loan or your auto loan and for credit cards it could have got you that introductory offer to get you a lower interest rate zero percent interest for 12 months or 18 months so you can transfer balance and lower your interest rate so you're not drowning in high interest rates you can do that by paying attention to your FICO score but credit karma doesn't care about that they're just trying to sell you all their trash just be aware of that hope you enjoyed this video we covered another big one on where to find your credit scores and how credit karma is one of the biggest scams in american history now make sure that you watch this next video because it is about how to raise your credit score and if you felt that i brought you some value in this video make sure that you don't forget and subscribe to increase your credit score